from WWE to failing in Call of Duty. Common or uncommon, I will always be here to entertain each and every one of you. Oh my gosh, Virginia. Now, Buster Boy 46 proudly presents another Let's Play. Like a boss! What is up, everybody? Buster Boy here. Putting on my headset here. Sorry about that. Just woke up, and because my downloads just got done, um, we're gonna do another let's play I've already done all Austin 316 when it first came out so we're going to do Hall of Fame and we're gonna do that all right here right now so let's go this year we celebrate the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2015 350 pounds of rough shaking Kevin Nash is just who all have earned their place in history, but one Hall of Famer personified the meaning of being one of the most recognized and passionate performers in WWE history. Ooh, yeah! The Macho Man Randy Savage! That seems to, I do apologize for that. Alright, so, I know I was talking about, in the last part, I was going to do 15 and 16, the, the whole thing, races. but... I did this, like I said, I've done the first, I've done WWE 2K16 before, so we're just going to do the whole thing right here. We're going to do the Hall of Fame, and we're going to pick up from there, and then we're going to do 15 as well. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to damage... We're going to try to go for all the objectives as well. So there we go. There you go. Get his ass at ringside. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, Randy Savage is building some well-deserved Macho Man Randy Savage's move set is pretty sweet. You know, uh oh Airplane spin on the outside. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Come on, Rap. Get in there. Ooh. Another backbreaker. You get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Back in the ring. Right, let's again. go. Ours whip them into the ring. All they got here, JR. Jake Roberts. Jake Roberts reverses, Savage reverses, and uh oh, oh referee dodged the bullet there. Back to the, ooh, look at that knee. Jake Roberts got the knee right in the face of the macho man Randy Savage. Can you dig it? Oh, yeah. Oh, they got here. Jake Roberts trying to get control of this thing. A roundhouse sweeping clothesline. And now look at Jake Roberts. Yeah. He knows he's in control. Yeah, but don't waste right, We're going to try to go for them all, man. so. And Jake Roberts losing valuable time after gaining the advantage. Is he settling for the DDT? Yeah, I'm afraid he is. This is going to be bad for the Macho Man. One DDT and it's over. Oh, yeah. Savage trying to fight his way back up, showing a lot of guts and courage. And there it is, front face lock in. Oh, this is going to be bad for the Macho Man. What impact. They may have busted some ribs there. Oh, really? No the QTEs have always been, like, up and down for me. So... Right, no, I'm not even gonna. And look at this. That three count and Macho Man yep. has won and this match. Was that? So we're gonna do as many of them as we can. So I watched Dan Cops play play through it. Chris Denker. The 400 pound Samoa captured the heart. Yeah, we're going to skip the cutscenes as well for copyright purposes, obviously. Plus, it's just boring watching cutscenes. The charismatic big man. <laughs> Mainly because it's boring. Just watching cutscenes. I mean, yeah. 
I know who they are, so. All right, Rick. Oops, Miss Elizabeth. This Tuesday in Texas, 1991. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I know about The Rock versus Rikishi, which I have to say that's probably one of the dumbest storylines. I agree 100% with Denkox when he said uh, this is one of the dumbest gimmicks he has ever had. Yeah, I did it for the, for the Rock. No one cares what you did it for. I think it was smart, really smart. I think it was really smart turning them heel. I really do. The whole I did it for the Rock, I did it because of this. It, it was kind of stupid. And it just didn't fit Rikishi. Rikishi has never made a good heel, in my opinion. He really didn't. Um, I think it would have been smarter just to keep him as a face his entire career. I think he makes a great face. Um, unless he was with the Samoans. I think that was Haku. Haku and him, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, so I know I said I was going to do an entire Let's Play of all of WWE 2K16 and 15, but like I said, I did, I forgot I have done all of 2K16, and I remember I did that on stream, so I'm probably not, I'm not going to go through it again, you know what I mean? I'm just going to pick up where, it le where I left off here. Do all of 15, even though I've already done that before, and I forgot I deleted it, and the data, so that's why that was emptied, and this wasn't, because I kept this because I didn't want to lose all my creative characters the, for WECW and stuff, but speaking of WECW, now that I got two wrestling games, I have very good news, we are going to split WECW into two brands. Um, it, one's going to be for 15, one's going to be for 16. And yes, it is coming back. Oh my gosh, look at this. So yeah, it's coming back. Um, is it going to be a permanent thing? No, it is not. It is not a permanent thing. Um... It's just going to be a temporary thing here, so... Now, about the whole WCW thing, WECW thing, it's not dead, like I said. I'm just looking for the right game. Maybe, um, maybe in 17, if that, if that game is... If, um, from a creative perspective, if that game, like, can suit what I want to do with WECW, then I'll gladly do it. Boom, rock bottom. Electrifying Movement Sports Entertainment. People's That's Elbow. It. He's done. Now the Rock's getting with his feet up. The Rock wins it. Man, what a battle. What a battle. The Rock was spin after that war. All right, so let's go to the other one. All right, I got Rikishi 2000. Alondra Blaze. WWE Hall of Famer Alundra Blaze was arguably the most dominant female wrestler of the 90s and one of the greatest talents in the rock. entertainment history. Survivor Series 2000. Blaze captured the WWE Women's Championship an impressive three times. All right, Alondra Blaze. I think if I'm not mistaken, we're facing Paige. I've seen, like I said, I've seen Denkops 
play this before, so. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. Unfortunately, um, I got into wrestling late, so I have no idea who Alondra Blaze is. Um, I'll do. I'll watch a few matches of her probably after I'm done doing this Let's Play. But I, in the '90s, when I was a baby, when when I was a child, I knew nothing about wrestling. I, like I said, I was like like the old saying goes. You know, they're a bed wetter. They don't know what they're. T they don't know what's going on. You know, I still wet the bed when I was a little, so I had no idea what the hell wrestling was. Okay, how do you do the airplane spin? Oh, okay. Whoops. Looking for all the glory here. I did not want to pin you. Um, come on. Let's go. Oh, that can't feel good. Let's go. Airplane spin. There we go. I had to pause it real quick to find out how to do the airplane spin. Alright, so that's your finisher, right? Oh, okay, yep. It is. It's her finisher. Oh, why? I accidentally keep pinning. I don't know why. Damn, what a DDT that was. The Smash Mouth series of matches that a Wonder Blaze had with the legendary Bull Nakano in the early 90s. You're right about that, JR. I was ringside for their historic encounter at SummerSlam 1994, and I can honestly say that their battles may very well have changed the women's wrestling scene forever. Of course, that night, a Wonder Blaze retained her women's championship, but she wasn't so lucky. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, alright. Sleeper. Okay, so I need to Irish whip her. Alright. Is this it? Nice. Aww. No, it was going to be over already. Come on, Paige. At least get me out of the green. This is no fun, Paige. Like, I thought you were better. The shoulders are down. Done. Is this an upset? I wonder Blaze has defeated Paige. Well, that's how you prove you still got it, JR. Here is your winner. There we go. <laughs> Larry Zabisco, the steel man from the Larry Zabisco. I have Number heard of Larry Zabisco. WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Larry Zabisco began his career in the early 1970s under the tutelage of his famous mentor, Bruno San Martino. Perhaps the closest friend you have in professional wrestling will make a reference to Larry Zabisco. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal reason I'm very proud of him. With a natural ability in the ring, the living legend reached new heights in the world of sports entertainment. All right, so here we go. We're gonna, I think this is the tag team match, if I'm not mistaking. <laughs> yeah, Ricky Steamboat and Dustin, uh, Dustin Rhodes versus Art Anderson and Larry Zabisco. 
Dustin Rhodes, for those of you who don't know, that's Gold Dust. Just in case for all the younger fans who just got into wrestling and didn't know. Of course, I'm sure everybody knows that. And that's relentless double teaming and keeping the opponent in their corner. 